Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jody Dean, Mr. Hunting the Dead. You're watching my YouTube channel, Hunting the Dead, right here at www.huntingthedead.com. I've been in the paranormal field for eight years. I have 600 investigations under my belt. I love the paranormal. It has changed my life. I once was a skeptic. I did not believe in ghosts. If anybody were to tell me that their home was haunted or start to tell me a ghost story, I would quickly shut them down and I would say, stop. You know, I don't want to hear that. That's baloney. Um, and if I didn't say that, maybe I would listen to it and I would just like, yeah. Right. Yeah. Sure. Uh-huh. Okay. I believe you. Yeah. No, I, be I believe you. <sighs> I used to watch the shows on TV and think to myself, these are grown men getting scared of their own shadow. Oh, a door just shut. Oh, my God. You know, uh, it could have been a breeze. Heard that creak in that house. Well, it's an old, old house. What, <laughs> you know, that can happen. One day I bought a voice recorder and I went to a cemetery and I said, you know what? I'm going to prove that this is fake. That these guys are just doing this for TV ratings. I captured my first EVP, electronic voice phenomena. That is where we capture a spirit's voice through recording. Uh, we can actually capture it in real time through a spirit box, which I'm going to explain this in one second. I captured my first EVP, my first spirit voice. It changed my life. I quickly wanted to go to more haunted locations, said to be haunted locations, and see what else I could get. I started experiencing, experiencing all kinds of things. Getting touched, scratched, even suffered an attachment. Um, I seen things follow me home. I felt things in my home. Um, I started capturing voices all the time. Class A evidence, compelling paranormal evidence, some of the most compelling paranormal evidence on the internet is right here on my channel. Over 300 videos. I think you can find some stuff that will blow your mind. I once was a skeptic. I was just like a lot of you guys. Recently, a week ago, maybe a week ago and some change, I'm, I'm not sure. Avicii passed away. When I heard the news, when me and my wife heard the news, we were very upset. I mean, we really, really loved his music. I don't really think there was something that he was behind composing, producing, uh, DJing, whatever, that we didn't like. Um, you know, I didn't know an, a lot about the guy's personal life, but I loved his sound. I've always said it, I will always say it. He had his own sound. You could hear one of his tracks come on and, and you knew he was behind it. And I think that's amazing. As somebody that has created music for a very long time, since I was 9 years old, I'm now 34 years old, um, I can tell you to have your own sound is a very powerful thing. That's how artists truly make it. He may be dead. He will not be forgotten. His music will be here forever. He is a legend. He is a living legend through his music that lives on. I did a session trying to reach out to Avicii right after he passed. Using my spirit box, running it through what I call a portal, which is an amplifier. The spirit box I would run through a noise reduction pedal called the Decimator 2, which is one of the best... Uh, noise reducer pedals there are you can ask many guitarists this and the reason I run it through the pedal is it kills some of the white noise that we hear so by killing some of the white noise we get more voice I use the amplifier to run all this through which has a reverb on the amplifier the reverb let's slow down here you capture a voice through here now we've cleared it up some of the white noise is gone. It comes through the amplifier with the reverb, which stretches out the voice a little bit. Without the reverb, you would hear 
maybe. With the reverb, you hear maybe. It, it kind of stretches it just a little bit, which helps you hear these voices better in real time. This is what I did in my first video reaching out to Avicii in my second video. I got some good responses and some bad responses, mainly because a lot of people aren't familiar with the spirit box, how it works, why it works, how are we able to communicate with spirits. There's a device out there, there's a machine out there that allows you to do this. A lot of people don't know that. Yes, there is. Spirits are energy and they are able to communicate with us through frequency. It's as simple as that. I know that you're probably thinking to yourself, how can it be that simple? How do I not know about this? How is this not bigger? I'm telling you, everybody should know about this. There are lots of people out there that want to talk to their loved ones that don't realize that they can. Now, does it take a little bit more than just having this device to be good at communicating with the dead? Absolutely. As I mentioned, I have 600 investigations under my belt. I love the paranormal. I work in the funeral business, so I work with the dead, I hunt the dead. When I'm not doing that, I'm writing about the dead, making documentaries about the dead. My whole life is involved with the dead. I'm so passionate about this. To see people out there say that I used this man and other people to get views is a lie. A YouTuber, approximately, approximately, it can be way less, it can be a little bit more, makes approximately $2,000 for every million views they have. As I have already mentioned, I have a little over 300 videos on my channel and I just went over 280,000 views. I've been doing this for over a year now. That doesn't even, that's change. I have spent thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on equipment on traveling to make these videos, on taking uh, I, the time that I've taken away from my family um, to, to do what I love and to do this for you guys, there's no amount of money that that's worth. I do this because I love it. And that's it. I mean, and you know, if you believe different, I don't really care. I'm telling you straight up, if you don't believe it, then that's your own problem. And that's, you know, that's your right. You can do that. I think... Avicii is going to be remembered forever for his sound, what he contributed. This is my last and final time reaching out to him. And the reason I'm doing it is because people asked for it. They keep telling me, do one more video, do one more video, make one more video. I want to know this. I want to know that. So I wrote down some different questions that I haven't asked yet. And one more time through the spirit box, through the portal, we are going to try and communicate with Avicii. Now, before I do this, before I start, I want you to just think about this real quick, okay? To all you non-believers out there, to all you people that are going to say, this is fake. Oh, come on, guys. This is fake. This isn't real. All right? Think about this. When you die, I know a lot of you think you go to heaven or go to hell. I don't. I don't. I once believed that, but I know that that's not true now. When we die, we're here. Waiting for what? A judgment day? Maybe. I don't know. But we're here. Just for a second, humor me and humor yourself. Say that you die today and you don't go to heaven or hell and you are here. In Avicii's situation, if he, he committed suicide. It's, it's out now. They're saying that he committed suicide. Some people are saying he didn't. Um, it seems like it's very unclear. But say that he committed suicide. He was committing suicide to get away from the pain and the feelings that he was feeling. If he is still here, his spirit is still here, which I know it is, okay? You would be wondering to yourself, oh man, why can't I see everybody? Why can't I hear everybody? How am I talking right now but they're not hearing me? You would be confused. You wouldn't understand. This is something that I research because I want to be able to not only potentially help spirits in the future, figuring out what I can do to make them understand quicker, sooner, that 
they're in a spirit state now. And they are limited to what they can do. Because not everybody's a ghost hunter. Not everybody's trying to communicate with them. So a spirit life can be very lonely unless you're communicating with other spirits, which I do know that they can do that as well. Um, I've captured many conversations between spirits, having conversations with other spirits. I feel if I did anything that I helped Avicii if I reached out to him, if I contacted him. Can I say 100% that it's Avicii that I, I contacted in the first video and the second video? No, I can't. I can't say that. I am an empath. I am a warlock. I do have a strong, strong, super strong connection with the spiritual world. But can I say it's him 100%? No. But can I write off the fact that the responses were relevant? That the voices that came through had his tone and spoke the way that he would speak? I can't write that off. So I lean more towards, yes, I contacted Avicii. Am I guaranteeing that? No. That's how I feel. That's my opinion that I possibly, very much possibly, made communication with him. There's no need to leave hate on the videos. If you don't believe in something, go on about your life. You have no idea of how this works. Some of you don't. Some of you do. So, I'm not talking to all of you. But a lot of you that leave the hate about the spirit box, you don't understand it, first of all. This scans through radio frequencies. Yes, it does. At a rapid fast rate or at a slower rate. If a radio DJ comes through, a radio personality, a commercial, it will block out the sweeps. When a spirit comes through, it talks over the sweeps. We're listening not only for a spirit to talk over the sweeps, but direct communication. We are listening for answers to our questions. There is so much I could go on and on about on the spirit box. And make, maybe I'll make a video here on my channel um, about the spirit box. But to explain to you guys my intentions, how this works, why I did what I did, um, to address the people that got good feelings about the video and bad feelings, that's why I'm making this video. And one last time, we are about to try and communicate with DJ Avicii. Before I started recording here, I did some spell work. Now, a lot of you guys aren't going to know what that is either. That is my magic that I do, asking the spirits to help me bring Avicii through one last time. If his family hears this, and there's anything I can do for you, anything you need at all, and I can help you, let me know. I will be there for you. I hope that maybe you hear his voice and you know it's him. And you can let everybody else know. If you don't believe it's him, I'm sorry. I tried my best. Um, my heart goes out to you. My condolences and my love to the family um, and everybody that is, is hurt by this. And to DJ Avicii. Avicii, you, you'll, you'll be missed. You'll be loved. One last time. Let's good. Okay. So we got the spirit box hooked up here. I've got my list of questions. I'm going to turn the fan down. It's going to get a little hot in here. We're running on reverse on sweep rate 200 on FM. There was something right there. Avicii. I would like to. I would like to speak to Avicii. Everybody wants to know, did you commit suicide? You co-founded a charity. What was the name of it?
What was the name of the charity that you co-founded? Was it House for Hunger? Was it House for Hunger? We're going to move on, but he could answer this in minutes to come. You were the first DJ ever to headline what? Radio City. He was the first DJ. He was the first DJ ever to headline Radio City Music Hall. Did you co-write and co-produce Coldplay songs? Avicii, Tim, Tim Bergling, did you, yeah, Tim are you here? Did you co-write and co-produce Coldplay songs? I know he did a sky a full a sky full of stars. Do you miss your dog, Liam? Do you miss Liam? You miss your dog. I think it just said Avicii, but it didn't sound like his voice, but there was definitely a voice that said that. I, I believe. Why did you retire in 2014? Tell us. Why did you retire? Wow, that was over several sweeps, just so you guys know.
is your birthday September 8th, 1989. What's your girlfriend's name? Is it Teresa? Do you miss Teresa? Teresa, I hope it. Is it Teresa? What about Luca, her son? Will you miss him? Mike Poser. <laughs> said Mike. Mike doesn't believe you killed yourself. Did you kill yourself or were you killed? Tim, please. Come on, Tim. Come on. Tim. What would you like to say? What would you like to say? Whoa! You guys have seen the lights do that? Tim! What would you like to say to your fans? Let's do it again. Your friends! Come through, come on. <laughs> Tim, I got to stop this session now. What do you want to say? Well, I want to say thank you for all you did, all you've done. You contributed a lot. Blood, sweat, tears, your time. And you will be remembered for that. Thank you. Bad. I 
I don't know what that was, but. So, Tim, I think I speak for everybody. We love you. Thank you. And please find some kind of peace in your spirit life. Goodbye. Guys, I don't know if he came through there, but I felt like I heard the tone of his voice again. This is the third video now where I felt like I've heard the tone of his voice. I realize I'm in Florida. He's in Sweden. Spirits can travel through energy, through frequency, transferable energy. I've communicated with spirits all over the world. Over the internet. If this was him, and you believe it was him, please leave comments below and tell me what you think you heard. Maybe you didn't hear what I heard. I will tag what I believe is real-time EVP. What I know to be real-time EVPs. If it's something that is radio frequency. I either won't post it, I'll cut it out, or I won't tag it. And then you guys can be the judge of what you hear. Again, thank you to everybody that understands why I'm doing this. This is for Avicii. This is not for you. Let's don't make this about ourselves. Let's don't make it about me. You know, if you watch this video and subscribe to my channel, great. If you don't, that's okay. If you get something from this, you take something from this video, then I'm happy. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks.